Hey guys, Pogosic29 here, and welcome to my video tutorial on admins only. Admins only is a very extensive whitelist plugin that uh, I created, and this tutorial will show you how to use all of the different features of admins only. So as far as installation, you just have to go ahead and uh, download a copy of it and put it in your plugins folder and reload or restart. And I already have a test server running, so we can go ahead and connect. And we are going to go ahead and here's the configuration file. So, one second. We're going to go ahead and go through the configuration and look at each of the different uh, options. So, the first uh, configuration is this uh, locked, and basically this stores whether or not the server should uh, be locked, and it's stored in the configuration so that um, so that uh, if you reload or restart your server and it's locked, it will still remain locked. Uh, so to toggle that, you uh, use slash AOT or toggle. And now, once you go ahead and do that, anyone that does not have the bypass permission will not get to join. So I'm going to go ahead and deop myself so that I am, excuse me, so that I am unable to join. And when I attempt to join, I will get kicked from the game because the server is locked, so I can't join it. And if I were to close out of this and open it back up, then it would say that locked is true. Uh, the next is you can customize the kick message. So when I attempt to join, it says, you know, only admins can join at this time. Uh, I could change it to say, you know, fixing something or, you know, doing something or whatever, or, you know, come back in 20 minutes or see website for details, whatever. And it does support any color, so you just put the end and then whatever color code you want, uh, you know, just normal. And... Uh, let's go ahead and do that. The next thing is the kick all on lockdown. So if I go ahead and join the game, and I'm going to go ahead and de -op myself, and right now it's by default set to true. So if I go ahead and toggle it, no. if I go ahead and turn it to on, then anyone that does not have permission to bypass the uh, admins only will be kicked when it's enabled. So this is like if you had, if like if you have to do something on your server, uh, and you know you want to lock it, you can just go ahead and enable admins only, and anyone that does not have the permission to bypass it will automatically be kicked with whatever message. So that's a helpful thing. Uh, bypass for ops is basically just um, you can. Uh, there's a permission that you can give. It is admins only dot login, but you can also you know choose whether or not you want to allow ops to just join whether or not they have it. Uh, broadcast on failed join. So if we go right here, so if I attempt to join, as you can see, I get kicked and it broadcasts that I tried to join the game. So this could just be helpful, so you can see you know who's trying to join, how many people are trying to join, and also maybe there's someone that's supposed to be on but you forgot to give them the permission so you'll see that they're trying to join so you can remember to give them the permission that one by default is true so you can uh, you know just go ahead and change that if you want if you don't want it on uh... this next one was added in the most recent update and i think it's one of the coolest features and i've definitely never seen it in another whitelisting plugin and it allows you to change the out of server MOTD when admins only is enabled. So by the by default, it's set to true. But if you don't want the uh, MOTD to change when the server is locked, then you would just set it to false. And when I go out here, as you can see, it's enabled. So it says only admins can join at this time, and it says it in red. So you would enable use MOTD, and then here you can set it to be whatever you want. And again, color codes with and and then whatever, you know, color, uh, letter or number. And what, as long as admins only is enabled, this 
uh, whatever message you have will show up there. So that is about it for version 1.2 of admins only. I just wanted to make this tutorial to show everyone. And one other quick thing is that should you make any changes to the configuration, you can use um, admins only uh, AO or admins only R or reload to reload the configuration. And you can, you know, use AO to check. You know, this will give you some command information. It'll tell you whether or not it's locked. Uh, you know, toggle, reload, and, you know, you can configure all these options in the configuration. Uh, in a future version, I will definitely add a command to modify the configuration, so you can just, you know, change whatever you want in-game. So, uh, that's all for this tutorial on admins only. Uh, as always, subscribe if you enjoy this plugin or if you enjoy my videos, or if you want to encourage me to continue coding, uh, make sure to check out admins only. I will put a link down below, and thanks for watching.